This is Betty with Betty Stampin' Crazy again. And I have a card here. Um, my granddaughter's birthday is coming up, and she loves pink and frilly things. And I didn't want to go overboard with it, but I did want to make her a quick card. And this is my sample card that I kind of threw together. So um, let's get started. It is using some of the new in co colors, or one of the new in colors, which is Flirty Flamingo. And she told me she loved this color, so that's what I'm going to use for her card. I'm also using my basic mats, which is five by three and three quarters, and five or yeah, five and a quarter by four. And of course, I'm using my standard uh, cardstock. I, the last one I did, um, I believe I went the long ways, but this one I'm going the um, wide uh, card like this and I do do most of my cards on this basis I don't usually do the short ones I mean the not so wide ones I don't know how I say that <laughs> okay and I am using the lots of label frames and I'm using the third and fourth one out and I'm also going to be using I am cheating on this um, card because this is a celebration stamp set that that is no longer available but it had these little sequins on it and she likes bling so I'm that's all I'm using out of this stamp set I'm just going to use these little sequin stamp right here I hope you got a hold of that while we did have the celebration and I'm also using out of the ten of cards I'm using the happy birthday so uh, oh yeah, I almost forgot. I am using this little uh, squiggly line here to, to make the decoration around the outside of this. Okay, so let's get started on this. Okay, pull that off. And I'm going to take my squiggly line. Oops, I almost forgot. I did brown the corners on this. I just think it gave it a little extra. So let's do that. It finally stopped raining this morning, so the sun's out. It was storming last night. I mean, it was coming down pretty hard. I have lost my little trash can. Don't know where I put it. Like I haven't got two or three of them around here somewhere. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do this. And let's do the end first. And it doesn't have to be perfect or straight. Nobody cares. It's a handmade card. So I just kind of eyeball it. And then I'm going to come down here. I'm sorry. I may be getting out of the camera. I'm not sure. Okay, got that done. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead with the sequins. Oh, no, I want to wait till I get this done on this done before I put sequins on because that way I can don't get in the way. And I have lost my piece of scrap paper again. What did I do with it? Here it is. I'm losing everything today. Now buddy finally woke up and he's fixing to go through the house. That looks good. I think he gets a little lazy whenever it's um, uh, rainy outside too. Okay, I'm going to cut these out and I'll be right back. Okay, and this time I was able to cut it out and it was the right one. If you'll notice my background for this. And I sponged these, um, both of them, to give them a little depth. Okay. 
So let's go ahead and do that. Ooh, getting a little heavy on that. Okay, get this one. And this one I do want a little heavy so it does show up because it is the same color as the cardstock. Which, did I tell you what this was? It's Flurry Flamingo. If I didn't. Okay. Now I can put that up. Nope. Can't put that up yet. But I am going to take the Winka Stella. I'm going to go ahead and go around the edge of this. Ooh, I think I need to get some more glitter in there. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Especially since this is the actual, actually this is clear, it just gives it a little bit of a sparkle. Go ahead and do that. Come on. I'm almost to the end. Okay. Put that up for right now. And I'm going to go ahead and put my dimensionals on the back of this. And I put two. Come on. Uh, trying to do this without getting the wink still on me because I'm doing it so quick. Oh. Here we are. Oops. See if we can't get that on there straight. Might help if I would have it straight on here and then I could see it, couldn't I? That's about as straight as I'm going to be able to get it with me. Okay. Now this, I just put straight down. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Mm. There it is. Right under my nose. Yep, I can hear Buddy barking outside. Somebody must have walked by. He's a silly dog. Okay, get on there. Okay, that's pretty straight. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to put this here, so I think I can go ahead and put that down, too. I'll go ahead and put one here, just make sure it stays on. Okay, go ahead and put that down. Oh, my phone's dinging. Somebody's texting me. Okay, and now I can take my sequins. And the way they're made, you'll notice they're kind of like this. And I just kind of make them around there. Turn it. Oh my goodness. Main drag. The street that's beside us is more or less a one of the bigger streets and sometimes it's a main drag. Okay, got that done. And of course they're going to do that whenever you're trying to um, film. 
Let's let me blow on this a little bit. Just to make sure they're dry. And then I came back in and just kind of squirrely, squirrely. Don't have to be perfect. Because believe me, I'm far from perfect. <laughs> Oops, let me go and close this. I'm finished with it. Okay. Now these I put on dimensionals too. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Put one in the middle. And one right there. Okay. base okay let's see if I can get this down straight nobody <laughs> he stopped to look at me like what do you want okay and now I am going to put uh, let's see rhinestones on it um, and I'm going to put, let's see, I used these these sides right here. And I'm just going to put it right here. And right there. And that's it. I mean, that's how simple this card was. Um, like I said, I did use a couple of retired things, or at least one retired thing. But... You're allowed to cheat once in a while when you're doing it for your granddaughter. So let me crease this right quick. I, I can't stand a card that's not creased. Okay, and there it is. Happy birthday for my granddaughter, Megan. And that's it. And I will leave a link to my uh, below in the description box to my uh, blog that will have all the sizes and all the stuff that I used, the products that I used. And uh, feel free to go on over there and look at some of the other cards that I've posted. I do have one. <laughs> I took the um, Painter's Palette stamp set and I did uh, a card with a picture of my dog in it. So you might want to go over there and look at that. I, th I thought it was cute. But anyway, this is Betty with Betty Stampin' Crazy. Thank you.